In this chapter, Ezekiel is telling of the destruction of Egypt. After reading this far into the Bible, we can see a cycle in not only nations, but in mankind. God promises blessing. People become prosperous, then prideful and forget God, then punishment. After so many times, you have to start wondering, are we all doomed to the same fate? Well, the answer is no. Through Christ, we can avoid the cycle of promise, prosperity, pride, then punishment. In Tozer's book, The Pursuit of God, he devoted a whole chapter to what he called the blessedness of possessing nothing. Much like Ezekiel 31, Tozer used the story of the Garden of Eden to explain that everything belongs to God. It was God's garden and Adam and Eve were simply stewards of it. But when sin entered the picture, that's when man was no longer satisfied with God alone and material things began to occupy man's heart. That's the lesson in the story of Abraham and Isaac. God took Abraham through this long road of gut-riching surrender to show that even Abraham's own son belonged to God. So what does that look like for you and me living in this modern world? How can we own things without them owning us? Let Abraham be an example. We must surrender everything to God. We lay it all on the altar and say, God, this is yours. How can I use this for your glory today? How can I steward this gift for your kingdom today? The car you drive, the home you live in, your time, your spouse, your children, the job you go to. Let this verse in Hebrews 13 guide you in this new mindset of giving everything back to God. For this world is not our permanent home. We are looking forward to a home yet to come. Therefore, let us offer through Jesus a continual sacrifice of praise to God, proclaiming our allegiance to his name. And don't forget to do good and to share with those in need. These are the sacrifices that please God.